Teaching children about gender identity, it's a big topic at a Conejo Valley School Board meeting tonight. Yeah, some parents speaking out against the new state guidelines, but some students are in favor of them. Kick on Jake Reiner is live in Thousand Oaks right now where that meeting is still going on. Jake? Yeah, Jeff and Susie, it's been a long night as this meeting continues to go on. You can see people spilled out, out over into another room uh, besides that boardroom meeting. It's been a long night uh, as the board considers adopting new state guidelines when it comes to sexual education. It's safe to say this was a heated topic. It was a packed boardroom meeting tonight. The new guidelines include updates to the sexual health and HIV prevention program. The board has the option to add gender identity and gender expression and issues dealing with consent to name a few topics. Parents, however, can opt their students out of all or part of the comprehensive sexual health and HIV AIDS prevention without penalty. Now, here's a taste of what we heard tonight. The hope is that by making students more aware of issues like consent, uh, that uh, they will uh, be safe for themselves and that they will keep other people safe. As long as they do not talk about the reproductive organs and their function, then the opt-out laws do not apply. But there is no law that says, as a board, we cannot still provide an opt-out. Uninformed people raise uninformed children, and that is why we need this. There is no reason to think CVUSD students won't benefit greatly from a curriculum that helps them understand the reality of trans identity. I think our, our, our parents that, that fought for this country in World War II, they, my father and my, my, they'd be turning over in their graves about this, that all this information that is being suggested that is going to be taught to our children. Again, these new proposed updates only concern middle and high school students. It's also important to point out that this was only a discussion and no actions were taken tonight. Reporting live in Thousand Oaks, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.